Hey guys, what's up? It's Bob Womtron back out of another video. In today's video, we are taking a look at four Fortnite Funko Pops today. We are taking a look at The Scientist, um, Eternal Voyager, Hail Schools, and Tientina. So, if you like this, hit like button, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you guys know when I'm live and when I upload all that good stuff. And yeah, so before we properly start, I should probably readjust the camera just a smidgen so I have enough room to actually review. You know, I should have done this before we started. But yeah, so what I'll do start as always by doing moving the Funko Pops off to the sides. And we shall take a look at the boxes. So, first off, we have the scientist's box, which you can see his name is the scientist. He got his bit of art there. It says Fortnite on top, Pop Games. He's number 618. As you can see, here's his full art, scientist 618. The back of the box, the side of the box with the old sort of half head art there, 618 scientist. Uh, top of the box. Bottom of the box, words, things, and stuff. And as I said, the back of the box, we have Scratch, the Scientist, Midas, and his Shadow Outfit, uh, Eternal Voyager, Male Schools, and Tientina. So I am missing Scratch and Midas, but I don't think I'll be able to get them without paying extortionate prices. So I'm not going to bother get them because I don't really want them anyway. So next up, we have Eternal Voyager, which you can see comparing to the Scientists. It is a blue sort of outline box to match the pop a bit better, which, as I said, we have Turtle Voyager. He's like a little skeleton type man. His number is 638. Here's his full art side. Here's his half head side with the rest of the window. And here we have the back. Which bringing this in, you can just see what the difference is mainly the color. So, yeah, that's it for those. Then we have Meow Skulls. Which is, is in a purple, got a purple background to it. Which you can see, Miel School's there. His name is full art side, number 639. His half head art style, and the back of the box showing a bigger version of the art there. And the rest of them, once again. And last but certainly not least, we have Tiantina's box, which her name is Tiantina. You can see. The big art there, her full art side of the box there, number 640, and just to show the back of the box, you see it says Fortnite, and all the other Funko Pops in this line once again. So yeah, that is it for the boxes, now let's actually take a look at the Funko Pops themselves, starting with the Scientist, which these guys might be a tad dusty because they've been sitting on my shelves and stuff, but anyway. You can see the scientist here looks very, very cool. I like the design very much. You can see um, for his head, got a nice bit of sort of glossy black paint for like this visor piece, which has all this red detailing on it, sort of for a uh, for his like heads up display sort of thing, which looks pretty cool. Got that sort of light bluish gray color there for other bits of his helmet. And then this sort of more like shiny grey paint for the rest of the helmet, which actually might be the plastic colour just was printed in. Not quite sure. Um then around the back here you can see there is this black tubing, which looks to be potential like oxygen tanks or something, I'm not quite sure. Um very interesting looking. For his torso and legs, you can see his armor looks very cool. It's mainly done in that same sort of dark grey as the helmet, obviously. But there's more black tubing, little bits of yellow and red there to break up, break it up. His abs are done in that darker black as well. His knees have these wee um, orange bracket type pieces. I'm not quite sure what they're for, but anyway. Um, just got little accents like on the shin here, the knees. Got little bits of red on his arms there, along with the orange... You know, other orange bracket pieces and orange on his uh, knuckles. And then for this arm, he has this big, like, blade, which I don't actually think ever is used properly, but it's pre still pretty cool. So, yeah. And then taking a look at the back as well. There's more of that sort of clay, blue, grey colour, along with the orange piece there, more red, 
to match his mask and all that good stuff. So yeah, that's it for scientists. Let's take a look at Eternal Voyager next, which here we have the Eternal Vo an Eternal Voyager, which as I said before, he is just like a skeleton guy in a spacesuit. Which if we take a look at his head, he's got the big beady blue eyes with his sort of nose cavity there. Which the head the design itself is very, very awesome. I do like it a lot. Um the skull itself is done in a slightly icy blue instead of like a bone white. Just obviously because of the flames and whatnot. It's kinda of the canals on his head where his ears would be. Then like the big flames making him look like some ghost rider type shit or like Angel of Vengeance. And then kinda of got this like slurpy blue that's what I would call it like in Fortnite terms. Like a slurp blue sort of back bit there as well. Which is, look, you know, what the bottom of the head's cast on as well, looks like. And then his suit, you can see, it's that sort of darker blue or greyish blue colour. With the suit colour itself, which is a nice light blue. With a bit of like a Damascus colouring, or like design thing there. Which looks interesting. I think it's like that sort of Damascus style, I could be wrong. Um... His arms, just a space suit with a tiny bit of blue there, tiny bit of blue on the other side, and the suit kind of just continues the whole way around for the front and the back. So, yeah, pretty cool design, I have to admit. Really, I'm a fan and whatnot. Set him back off to that side. Next up, we have Meow Skulls, which you see, it's Meow Skulls, he's a buff cat. Still one of the weirdest skins, I think, in Fortnite history. Not saying something, because we have, like, fish sticks and stuff. But, still, you can see what Mel Skulls looks like in all of his glory. He has big beady eyes with, like, the W-shaped cat mouth. Um, for his head, half of it is painted slash casted in that sort of dark purpley sort of, or dark, like, purple-ish shade of colour and the other side's done in that more orange which looks nice and this ear looks to have like a little tracker thing maybe on it the other ear just done in that you know shade which is very nice the bottom of his face is done in white just the whole way around which looks very very cool for his torso and whatnot just he's got his full like fucking six pack there looking mad as always Got a little tattoo on his arm there that says Lynx, because um, the season 7 skin Lynx is apparently his, like, other half, so to speak, canonically. Um, I'm not going into that today, at least. But you can see, um, around the back as well, oops, you see the sort of suspenders there, and his arms, which are buff as fuck, with the orange sort of fur on it. And then he's got a little gun holster there with a little cap on it. And same on the other side. And then he's got his little tail. And the rest of him is just his jeans and his work boots. Or combat boots, which looks pretty cool. I have to admit. Uh, even though it's a fucking buff cat, it still looks pretty cool. And then, last but certainly not least, we have Tiantina, which she is the only one out of the four of them that comes with a base. Stand as always, you know. I'll explain it once again how these work. There's a little post there, there's a hole in the bottom of her boot, just go like so. Find the hole in the bottom of her foot and just, just, just jam it in there and then hey presto. So you can see TNT now, kind of more basic than the other three, like just you know, normal person face. With the beady black eyes, the three eyelashes, got a little bit of freckles there as well. For her hair, there's a lot of, you know, it's mostly done in that sort of darker brown. And then the front, like, fringe or, you know, hair piece here, it's actually done in a different shade. I don't, you know, doesn't look as bad off a of camera, but on camera you can, you know, you can tell it's a bit of a different shade. Which is interesting. Um, her outfit is a kaboom sort of tank top 
or whatever with little hearts on it which is done you know the red with a stick of tnt or dynamite she got little green grenades on her leg there and overall pretty simplistic she's got a, a grenade design thing on the back of it as well and then just little bits of yellow detailing here and there on her trousers and her boots so yeah that is it for these four Funko Pops um, probably a shorter video than usual and at least whenever it comes to reviewing four of them I'm not honestly sure but oops, oops daisy but yeah if you like this video be sure to hit the like button, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you guys know when I go live. When I go live and when I upload all that good stuff. And yeah, next time I don't know who I'm taking a look at, but I will, there will be another video soon. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I shall see you guys soon. Goodbye.